Hey everyone, Google just released VO 3.1, and it's a game changer for creating professional advertisements. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a complete 30 second commercial using only Google's AI tools, Gemini for generating your storyboard frames, and VO 3.1 for bringing them to life. We're going to create an ad for a fictional product called the Gravity Boots Inertion and I'll walk you through my entire workflow from concept to final video. Let's dive in. Here's how this process works. Instead of filming anything, we're using AI to generate static images in Gemini, then animating them with VO 3.1. The key technique here is called frames to video generation. You create a starting frame and an ending frame for each shot and VO fills in the motion between them. This gives you complete control over your narrative while letting the AI handle the smooth transitions. For an over a minute ad, I'm planning six shots at roughly eight seconds each. This keeps the pacing dynamic and professional. And if you want to dive deeper into Gemini's image generation capabilities, I've got a full tutorial on that. Just click on the top right corner right over there. Before we touch any AI tools, let's plan our storyboard. For the Gravity Boots Inertion, I want to show Shot 1, close-up of the boots in a sleek display case with dramatic lighting. Shot 2, an athlete's feet stepping into the boots, detail on the straps tightening. Shot 3, the person standing, then beginning to lift off the ground. Shot four, full body shot, floating upward in an urban environment. Shot five, dynamic aerial movement, the person doing a flip or spin midair. Shot six, landing gracefully, boots glowing, with the product logo reveal. This structure follows classic commercial pacing. Introduce the product, show it in use, demonstrate the benefit, and end with branding. Now let's create our frames. I'm using Gemini to generate the images. You can access this through Google AI Studio or the Gemini interface. Pro tip, writing prompts for AI is like ordering at a fancy coffee shop. If you just say coffee, you're getting whatever the barista feels like making that day. Be specific or prepare for chaos. For shot one, here's what I'm entering. Product photography of futuristic gravity boots called Inertion, displayed in a hexagonal glass case. Ultra realistic, commercial photography style. 8K quality. The key here is being specific about lighting, materials, and mood. I'm hitting Generate, and here's our first frame. Now, I need the ending frame for this shot. A slight camera push in with the lights brightening. Same futuristic gravity boots in glass case. Closer camera angle. LED accents glowing brighter. More intense rim lighting. Perfect. That gives us our start and end for shot one. Oh wait, just a little warning so that you can understand what would happen in the next of the video. The VO 3.1 can only capture the video in portrait and landscape mode. So, make sure that the images are in one of these layouts. For this case, I had to expand the background of these images so that VO can capture every details of the original image. You could use any tools you want. I used Google Whisk for this video. Let me quickly generate frames for shot two. For the starting frame, close-up detail shot of athletic hands gripping futuristic gravity boots. The feet are stepping into the boots, fingers positioned on blue LED straps. And the ending frame, same angle, same position of the feet. Hands have fastened the straps. See how I'm maintaining the same camera angle but describing the action's progression? This gives VO clear direction for the animation. For shot three, 
where we see the levitation begin, for the starting frame, the prompt should look like this, comes along with the ending frame. And here is the result. Not bad, huh? I guess a little problem is that his face is kinda artificial. You could try adding into the prompt a little details about his appearance. That's all you need to do. All right, shot four should look like this. This one will depict the urban environment more specifically. You will be the judge for this. Okay, move to the fifth shot. This one is our dynamic movement. The person will spin in midair to demonstrate the light and the glowing effect of the shoes. And finally, shot six, the landing and reveal. Just like an ordinary TVC on your TV. Now we have all our frames from Gemini. Time to bring them to life in VO 3.1. Access VO through Google's AI Test Kitchen or Video FX platform. Make sure you're using version 3.1. It has significantly better motion understanding than the previous version. The process is straightforward. Upload your starting frame, upload your ending frame, then add a text prompt describing the motion you want. Let me show you shot one. I'm uploading both frames, and for the motion prompt, slow cinematic push-in toward the gravity boots in display case LED. Lights gradually increasing in intensity, subtle fog movement, camera dolly forward, smooth and professional product reveal. And now I generate. While this renders, let me explain what makes a good motion prompt for VO. You want to describe camera movement, subject movement, and atmospheric changes. Be specific, but not overly complex. Let me cue up the rest of the shots. For shot two, shot three, shot four, shot five. By the way, Shout out Fo Lenny Blonde for his wonderful video on AI filmmaking. I was struggling to get the shot right, and then I saw his video and found the workaround for the prompt. And finally, shot six. Like, I genuinely showed this to a friend as a joke, and they asked me where they can get it. Peak 2025 energy right there. Instead of flying cars, we have this. All right, my videos are rendering. With VO 3.1, you'll typically get results in a few minutes, depending on server load. Here are my top tips for this workflow. One, be consistent with lighting and style across your frames. Mention the same time of day, lighting conditions, and mood in each prompt. Two, keep your motion descriptions clear and focused. Don't try to cram too many movements into one five-second clip. Three, generate multiple versions if needed. Sometimes the AI interprets movement differently, so having options is valuable. Four, think cinematically. Use real filmmaking terms. Dolly, tracking shot, push-in, pullback. VO understands this language. If this looks like something you'd want to create, Hit that like button right now and let me know in the comments what product you'd make a commercial for. The limits of human potential are about to change. Introducing Inertion, the world's first gravity-defying footwear. Powered by quantum field technology, engineered for the impossible. Break free from the ground. Redefine what it means to move. Feel the rush. Own the sky. Inertion. Defy gravity. And there you have it. A complete workflow for creating professional AI-generated commercials using Google's tools. Once your shots are rendered, you can edit them together in any video editor. 
add music, sound effects, and your final branding. The combination of Gemini for precise frame generation and VO3.1 for smooth animation gives you incredible creative control. This is the future of rapid prototyping for commercial ideas. If you want to try this yourself, all the prompts I used are in the description below. Let me know in the comments what product you'd create an ad for using this technique. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.